photography is one of the most popular career choices for young people across the globe and fashion photography per se is the most popular. While there's no denying to the amount of fun, excitement and glamour that comes along with these careers, there's also tremendous amount of hard work and creativity that goes into creating amazing photo shoots. On Heads Up today, we are taking you behind the scenes a commercial photo shoot for an upcoming Indian wear brand as we get in conversation with Ishan Suri who is the production head for today's photo shoot and he's going to tell us what does a fashion photographer do and how do they do what they do. Ishan, welcome to Hi, the show. Richard. Thank you. So Ishan, I see you're working with a lot of equipment over here. Can you just tell us quickly about, you know, what is the kind of gear do you need when you are doing an outdoor shoot like this that we're doing today? Well, so our gear really depends on what we're looking at as a final brief. So today, based on what our client wants and also weather not being with us, we're shooting in bright sunlight. It's almost 11 o'clock, 10.30, right. 11 in the morning. So we're using uh, the sun to only help us shoot rather than be the main center of our shoot. We're using primarily a Canon system today. Uh, this is a Canon 1DX. We are mm -hmm. not shooting for print. We are shooting only for online. So we are using the... The, the features of this camera to be extremely responsive and fast right. and the dynamic range it has. We're also right. using a Sony system here which is the right. Sony A7S with uh, Zeiss lenses right. for a film which we're doing or, the, or for the shoot simultaneously right. and right. To, uh, to assist us to light we're using a, a bunch of rangers, mm -hmm. uh, LN Chrome rangers which are very high powered lights. They are 1100 watts powered by a power pack mm -hmm. uh, to complement the sun where we're actually recreating uh, the sunlight and overpowering the sun using a strobe system. Right. Also, you know, when we talk about now we have all the equipment sorted, but what about the team? What is the kind of, you know, number of people that you require for all of this? Like, do you have a camera expert, then you have somebody who's a lighting expert? Yeah. So, Swapnil here is our head of photography and, uh, and, op and operations, and mm -hmm. he also is the senior most uh, director of photography at Art right. Photo. He is looking after all the equipment, the entire shoot, whatever goes on, all the tech behind it, as well as the, the, uh, the, the rigging of the camera. Plus, we have a stylist on board. Uh, we have our assistive team and right. our uh, main directorial team for the films. So we have at least a six, seven people team today here doing uh, the, f the photo shoot from execution to planning, which have been involved since the beginning. Right, right. So like uh, Ishan has already mentioned, it's almost about time we begin the photo shoot. But before we jump onto that, let's get behind the scenes, the makeup room and find out what's happening there. <laughs> A successful photo shoot has many significant players in the team that constantly work towards churning out a great shoot and one among them is a makeup artist. A makeup artist's job is that of visually transforming the model and that is done by makeup, wigs and other accessories. While professional makeup is one aspect of a great photo shoot, the other is a photographer's photography skills. Let's now take a look at how you can learn the basics of photography. Photography, a contemporary art and wordless storytelling, is one of the most popular of career choices today for many youngsters across the world. From working in the wild and rugged outback to shooting in the comfort of a studio setup, photography offers a range of challenging and dynamic careers. And with its growing popularity and the demand for skilled photographers, professional courses in photography are now offered at a number of institutes across the globe. The Yale School of Fine Arts and the New York Film Academy, for example, are some of the top places for learning photography. You see, any art form, including photography, can be taught in many different ways, but only up to some extent, which is the technical aspect of it, the history of photography, the, how it started, what happened in between in all those years, 150 years, and where photography is today to make them aware. And the most important part, when you have to teach any creative medium, to ignite the creative urge in those individuals. Photography courses in India require a minimum qualification of 10 plus 2, However, institute-specific requirements may need a candidate to have studied for a bachelor's degree as well. Along with a basic education, an attentive and perceptive mind, an eye for detail and creativity together sum up to the desirable skill set of a good photographer. 
While photography courses generally begin as an introduction to the basics of film and digital cameras and image making, the principles behind picture composition later allow aspiring photographers to specialize in a specific type of photography. Understanding the fundamentals of photography is as important as knowing your equipment well. Shutter speed, aperture, ISO representing sensitivity and depth of field form the fundamental bedrock of photography and creatively playing with them can change the picture largely. But clicking great pictures is not just knowing all about your camera and these photography basics. It also requires a sound understanding of picture composition, patterns, symmetry, shapes and colors, brightness and darkness among others are all elements that go to make up a great picture composition. It's not about composition. It's about elements, people, and, you know, whole set of situations coming together in certain rhythm that forms a composition, then it's wonderful. Once you've got your basics set right, next comes learning how to see the light like a pro. Creative use of light and lighting can transform a good picture into a great picture. It determines not just the brightness and darkness of colors, but also sets the tone, mood and atmosphere of the picture which has to be clicked. The last and final lesson on photography post-production is all about correcting and enhancing your pictures. Raw images straight out of the camera can look like they have flaws like bad lighting, grain, blurring or distortions. They need to be processed to bring out their best. And post-production editing does just that, improves the quality and attractiveness of the image and presto, you have a dramatically changed picture. Don't take all those good pictures which you've seen before, which are stored here. Don't photograph, don't take those pictures. Then only life and nature will offer you something. Some of the popular post-production techniques being image enhancement, image manipulation, color correction and image restoration. And these make the picture seem like, well, another picture. All right, so we're here at the location where the shoot is actually happening and now we're going to talk to Ishan and find out how is everything being done. Um, Ishan, it's, uh, so, you know, before we jump on to finding out and understanding how the shoot is actually happening, why don't you tell us a bit about the ex entire experience of being a fashion photographer? What is it like? Uh, it's great, it's very hectic. So, you're shooting on location, you're shooting with uh, a complex brief. Today we have the clients with us who are the owners and the proprietors of the brand, so the pressure is very high. And more importantly, it's too hot today, so we have to shoot fast yeah. so that the model is not under pressure. Right. So, right, so you know, let's fall back a bit and also talk about how the entire ideation, you know, like how do you, once you start with the clients and you've got a theme from them, how do you then plan out what do you have to do on your eyes? So well, primarily, I, since I had the production and the art direction, the, the uh, my team, my production yeah, team and my concept team. styling team, they draw up the plan right. and the inspirations and what we want to shoot based on what the client wants, based One, on their brand, two, since we also help the brand's identity grow, hmm. we try to understand what they want and then come uh -huh. up with the concept for it and then find One, the ideal model, two, the location, hair styling, makeup and the right style of shooting. Right to come up with the final image. So how do you determine the right style of shooting? I mean, for a shoot like this, what, what would be some of the key points that you have to always keep in mind, you know, when you're there, when you're on spot and shooting? Well, you have to give equal equal amount of balance to the, to the, to the, to the aesthetics of the shot, mm. the, the final composition, but also keeping in mind that it's a product shoot, mm. so the, uh, the outfit has to show, the sensibilities of the designer has to show, the sensibilities and the, the features of the outfit or the, uh, the, the important bits about what they're really trying to sell. Anybody so basically else? colors and props and ideas are some of the key elements that you yes. work with for a fashion shoot. But other than that, what are the other challenges according to you that as a fashion photographer you have to always face and you know sort of uh, uh, go past those hurdles? See one of the, the, the most important things is it's very easy to come up with the idea, it's very easy to come up with the inspiration, the final concept, everything else. But you're also working against a very tight deadline, you're also working against a commercial launch. Uh, so we don't have much option, the bottles coming in from Bombay. Uh, the teams come in from another part of the country, so you know my, you, you have one time and one time only to finish this shoot and get it 100%. Right, and so there's also a lot of coordination yes. between you, the client, the, yeah. you know, the model agency and then so many yes. other professionals on yes. the shoot, right? Yes. So that's another challenge, yes. uh, right, you of know, course. to coordinate with such people. What about the key skills that you need, you know, to be a fashion photographer, to be, uh, you know, making uh, creative photo shoots happening, what are some of the key skills? Well, 
a lot of experience a lot of training you have to know how to really be able to take from concept to completion concept to execution is not as easy as it sounds there's a lot of equipment available there's a lot of talent available there's you know the, the technology today is you, you have access to everything and anything you need to know how to command it yes it, i would advise to train with uh, good people to train with senior photographers so what do you think about the kind of growth the industry is going to witness in the coming times and also you know the career scope given uh, how you know how the industry is performing currently well i think it's just the beginning we've just about skimmed the surface and india is just waking up to uh, options available for visual production and we are happy to be uh, first mover in it and we are we are uh, supporting the industry as a younger independent creative industry uh, production company where hmm. we are able to sustain a client without having another creative agency or another external agency for them to come and just have us execute be it companies like ours are able to give the right price point and handle a client from concept to execution and also handle the rest of right. their creative requirements right. and that just shows that you know there's a lot of demand on all different levels you don't have to be a big company to be able to hire these services you can do it at any level whatsoever engineer by profession before kick starting a career in fashion photography tarun kewal is a renowned indian fashion photographer from delhi having started his professional career as a design engineer tarun soon got bored of what he saw as a mundane engineering job and in the year 1989 with a camera gifted by his father and little or no experience in photography tarun decided to experiment his luck with photography first of all settled career i i just don't agree to uh, you know and and that that was the uh, that was the key thing which was very boring for me you know having a settled career that means you know you you have a very set life you start in the morning you finish in the evening and you today my life is like very different i you know every day is a new day i meet so many people from different walks of life internationally i travel so you know th the life is very exciting now very adventurous <laughs> Starting off as an apprentice under famous photographers like Hardev Singh and Atul Kaspekar and others, Tarun's full-time entry into the world of fashion photography happened gradually after working with magazines like Society and First City. Well, you know, those days were different. You were in school, you want to buy a role, you know, you'll have to do something to to get the money. You can't go to your dad again and again that I want to buy a role, then process a role and all that. It was a very complicated process and and it was very expensive in those days also. You know, and sitting in Lucknow if you want to do this. <laughs> His simplistic approach to photography with a touch of glamour has won him several accolades in India and abroad. The Hasselblad Masters Award being most prominent among his achievements. And while fashion photography continues to be on the top of his list, Tarun also specializes in commercial photography. His works associated with international brands like L'Oreal, Reebok, Sony and Pepsi among others. well that that's not difficult if if you if you're doing really good work somebody will call you for for some job it's it's up to you uh, how you want to take whether you really want to do that for the longest time i was only doing editorials i was not doing uh, commercial work at all also known for his editorial works in international editorials like vogue harper's bazaar and l tarun is an inspiration for many aspiring fashion photographers change the rules change the rules I and mean, don't follow the set pattern uh, don't try and do things which other people are doing all right so we have with us neha suri from art photo studio she is the creative director for today's photo shoot neha welcome to the show Thank neha you. Uh, tell us a bit about the theme of you know what is the entire shoot all about uh, we are shooting uh, a new brand called gerua it's an indo western um, outfit brand um and they're launching their brand online uh, right. on 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 a on a very popular website so the idea is that we need to make teasers which catches uh, the person's attention uh, creates an interest in the brand hmm. uh, it's not necessarily to showcase the product 
and it's not very direct but it's more subliminal so that we can get the attention of the viewer and there's a sort of an excitement around the brand uh, what is it what are the clothes looking like um, you know so uh, so it's not to have a, 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 an ad per se but it's just to create a little bit of interest and inquisitive. What about some of the biggest challenges that you have to face as a creative director for let's say a photo shoot like this or a videography shoot? Budget is always definitely a constraint so what we can do within uh, the limits of uh, for instance we're shooting in 40 degrees heat um, mm. today but we need to create something which is easy breezy. How do you create a look which um, which kind of resonates um, something which is cool and light and breezy in this heat yeah. you know so um, so it's so then you have to come up with uh, okay what can we do what can we try and how can we create that look how can we um, so for instance we use a wind blower to sh kind of show that the wind is blowing but so you have to kind of tweak around with um, right. uh, so that it looks fabulous at mm. the end of mm. the day um, obviously the location matters so finding that perfect place where we can shoot so that the, uh, there's a pop when we kind of speak it should not look ordinary my last question to you is what would be some of the top skills that you need to have when you know you are a creative director for uh, any, any uh, such you know endeavor uh, I think more than uh, uh, the top skills, you need to keep your eyes and ears open. You need to understand what's going on around mm -hmm. you. You need to understand what people are consuming, what people like to watch. You need to keep up with the times. Um, right. uh, you know, now we're looking at 10 second cuts to keep people's attention because um, the millennials have a very short span of attention, right? So you need to keep up with what's happening around you. You need to keep up keep abreast with what's the trend and um, and and use your own skills to kind of cater to right. the growing need of right. what's right. happening. So thank you so much for talking to us Neha. Catch the heads up episodes you might have missed during the week at these times only on NDTV Prime.